Hi everyone, it's Jordan again, and for today we are going to be keeping with our word series, or our, our word theme, where we look at two very similar yet very different words. And today's comes from a just minute-long devotional that I heard on the radio the other day from Tim Tebow. If you aren't familiar with him, he's a former NFL quarterback. I believe he won the Heisman in college. Um, and now he's what I believe to be a very underrated Christian speaker. He is fantastic. And one of the things that he said in this devotional was that God will use what we see as a setback to really be a setup for his plan that we can't see yet. And immediately I took those two words and I said, yes. The two words are setback versus set up. Now, Tim's example was things that happened to him throughout his sports career. You know, there's a lot of, of setbacks as we see it in, in the sports world. And he went through some of his, sadly, I I'm, I'm, can't remember all the details that he used on his, but what's yours? What are some areas in your life where you feel like you've really had a setback? Maybe multiple, maybe setback after setback after setback. What's yours? I thought of one for me, and mine is the first college that I was in. I was um, in Toccoa Falls College now, but I was in another college previously, and when I very first started out in college, and this was not a Christian college, but I thought that's okay. That's okay, I was still taking classes in it, and it was going okay. And then my advisor and the team at that college they kind of let me walk into a situation that I was not ready for. A situation that they really should not have let me walk into. So after a few weeks, I ended up withdrawing from all of the classes that they had put me in and virtually, I guess, dropped out at that point of the college. And that was very difficult for me because here I am you know, finally starting to get into college and thinking, okay, I'm just getting my bearings, you know, still thinking, you know, can I do this? And then that happened. And so then all of a sudden, I was not in college anymore and I was trying to figure out what that meant and what to do. And that was difficult. That looked like a giant setback to me. It looked like a giant setback to me to all of a sudden not have the college plan that I had all planned out, all of a sudden that was blown out because I'm not even in that college anymore. And I'm sitting here thinking, I have no idea what to do. But it ended up being a setup that I can clearly see because then God led me into Toccoa Falls where so far everything has been going very, very well and very, very much better. It's a much better environment, much better situation. And I can see where God was really providing for me during that time when I was not happy. I was not happy with the way that things had turned out. It looked like a setback to me to have that plan completely blown up. And I know that you have times in your life that have felt like a setback, but that you can look back and really see, okay, God was setting me up for something better. So think about that, but maybe, maybe you're saying that's great, but what about the times when I can't see the setup? What about the times when it just looks like a setback? It just looks like I'm getting knocked down over and over again, and I don't see a setup. I don't see where this fits into any plan. Well, honestly, I can relate to that. I feel like I have more examples of that in my life than anything else. But, but honestly, maybe the setup is coming and we can't see it. Maybe it's just something that we will see in the right time. Maybe it'll just unfold in the right time, in God's time. Or you know what? Maybe, maybe the setup is just setting us up to become closer to God. And when I say just, my mom caught that earlier and she's like, just setting you up to be closer to God? Mm -mm, there's no just about that. Setting you up to be closer to God. Isn't that the most important thing in the world? So shouldn't we be all right with, with a setback that just sets us up for a closer relationship with God. Maybe it's setting us up to learn an important lesson. Maybe God's trying to teach us something through the setbacks that we're facing. That counts as a setup if he's setting us up to teach us a valuable lesson that we need to know. Maybe he's, he's setting us up to gain a deeper level of 
of sympathy or empathy for someone going through a similar thing. Maybe he's setting us up so that we can help somebody else with the same you know, setback situation that they're in. Maybe he's setting us up that we can help them. The point I'm trying to make is that we don't know. We don't know what God's plans are. We don't know where the setup comes or if we'll even see the setup. Maybe it's just something that we have to trust that God is using the setback in our life as a setup for him to do something. We don't know what, bring us closer to him, teach us a lesson or something more that we, we won't know yet. But I'll tell you this, every single thing that we see as a setback, God is using in some way as a setup. And I know that that's a really big, bold statement to make. Every single thing, you say, Jordan, mm -mm, you don't know the setbacks I've had. Well, I've had a lot of setbacks too, and I understand that. And they're painful, and they're hard. And watching your plans be blown up is not easy. And feeling like you're just getting knocked down time and time again is not easy. I get that. But I'm still willing to sit here after setbacks that I've had, after setbacks that I've watched other people have, I'm still willing to sit here and say, God uses every single setback as some form of a setup, every single one. Even the ones that seem like they have no purpose at all. God will use them as some kind of a setup to draw us closer to him, to help somebody else, to do something that I don't even know, to do something that we might see in the future or we might see when we get to heaven and God unfolds it and reveals it to us. I wanna leave you with some song lyrics, of course, cause it is me after all. This is a song from Disciple. I wouldn't recommend the whole song, but I'm just gonna say the lyrics of the bridge because I think that they're perfect for what we've talked about right now. God saying to us, this is not your downfall. This is not your curtain call. This is only the start. And I can't wait to watch you. Let this break and build you because I'm so in love with who you are. God gives us these moments because he loves us so much. He wants us to be built. He wants us to have a deeper relationship with him. So every single setback that we face doesn't have to be our downfall. It can still just be the start, the start of something better. If we allow every single setback to be a setup in our lives. And I encourage you to ask God with the setbacks that you're facing, God, what are you trying to teach me here? What's the setup that's coming? Help me have eyes to see it. Help me have a heart and a spirit that's open to whatever setup you are doing in my life through this seemingly setback that I'm facing. God is good all the time. Love you guys. Bye.